In the United States, more than 300,000 people are diagnosed with Lyme disease each year. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reporting a spike in the number of counties considered Lyme disease hotspots. The Cary Institute of Ecosystem Studies launching the Tick Project in a part of New York's Hudson Valley, which is plagued with the disease. So what are the risk factors in these residential neighborhoods and how can we reduce them? The five-year project hopes to find out if treating neighborhoods in Dutchess County for ticks can help reduce the cases of Lyme disease and other tick-borne illnesses. As part of the project, lawns are treated during the spring and early summer with fungal sprays that kill ticks. Then, every two weeks, researchers check in with families to see if anyone, including their animals, have ticks on them. They also deploy bait boxes to attract rodents. In the box is an insecticide that kills ticks on mice and chipmunks, two animals responsible for infecting ticks with the bacteria that causes Lyme disease. What determines how abundant ticks are? Where are the ticks? How many are there? How many are infected? To better understand, we decided to join in on one of their sampling assignments. This cloth fools the ticks into thinking that what they what just brushed against them was some mammal or bird or some host animal that they might want to feed on. So they grab a hold of this cloth. Um, and then I can grab a hold of them. As we made our way into the woods, the ticks do like to hang around on fallen logs sometimes. Senior scientist Richard Osfeld informed us that not all ticks are clearly visible. This is the most dangerous life stage right here. That's called the nymph. This life stage is responsible for most cases of Lyme disease. After collecting the ticks, they are taken to a lab where they're examined. We want to reduce them effectively enough that our likelihood of encountering one of these when we're hanging around in our yards or in our neighborhoods um, is low enough that we're not likely to get sick. The end goal, improve quality of life. It's a huge public health issue, it's an ecological issue, it's an economic issue, and we don't have good solutions to it yet. That's what we're trying to redress with this study. In Millbrook, New York, Melissa Dezotti, Fox 5 News.